What's going on, guys? Bart here with Tully Television, and I want to thank all of you for showing up, liking, commenting, subscribing to all the new viewers, returning viewers, future viewers. Thank you. All interactions on the channel help the algorithm to grow our channel to newer and higher heights that we'll never see before, or have seen before. <laughs> uh, the March to three... Um, 500 subscribers, sorry. The march to 500 subscribers continues. We're almost at 350. Amazing. I love every uh, new milestone that we get. So only together must we remember that only together we're going straight to the moon, baby. Uh, but I wanted to talk about uh, the Acolyte newest episode called Choice. And it's episode seven out of the series. We got one more, uh, one more episode after this, so to speak. Uh, hopefully, the season and series finale. Um, I'm going to say offhand that I believe that this episode was the best episode out of the whole series so far. And it's really sad to say that it may be a little too late to um, feel like this series could be a great series overall. Because if most of the episodes were like the episode that was released uh, entitled Choice, like that episode, I think maybe the series would have uh, done a little bit better. Um, it did have more action in it, and we finally got to get to see what it was that happened that day with the Coven. The Jedi were on the planet studying a force convergence, and they were trying to find it to study it for the Jedi, for Jedi use. They didn't know there was a Coven of Witches there. And so when Sol seen May and Osha for the first time near the tree as children uh, that we've seen in episode one, they weren't expecting to find those people. They did not go to that planet looking to take children away from their mothers. Okay. When Sol followed them back to their home, because he's seen them using the force, uh, the curiosity got the best of him, and he was able to go find their fortress, their their uh, base of operations, so to speak. And he goes and convinces uh, Jedi Master Matrix, <laughs> Carrie Ann Moss, uh, to go investigate with them. And then we see all these uh, behind-the-scenes things that, from other people's perspective, uh, that was going on in episode one. Like when um, 
the mother is trying to teach the girls how to defend themselves defend themselves against the force um soul was watching and then when there was a noise heard everyone turned that was soul so that's kind of like how they're showing some of these uh vantage points of the story to fill in uh the blanks so to speak when torben was there when they went back to confront the mothers and torben was there um mother anasea was the one trying to make him go back to coruscant to cause him confusion and doubt um she did use his mind unprovoked um her powers over his mind. He wasn't threatening or anything like that. So most of these things that were happening was because of by chance and coincidence. And they did start uh, being negative and using negative um, actions towards the Jedi. There was no need to overtake his mind to cause confusion about what was going on. Um, however, though, when Mother Anasea realized Osha wanted to go with the Jedi, supposedly she was going to let her go. The other mother is the one that caused May to act out against her sister Osha and prevent her from going because she said she wasn't going to have no Jedi raise her children. And so... Here are two mothers at conflicting views of what hap should happen with their children. And um, the one mother was going to let her go with the Jedi. The other was not wanting to do that. Um, there was a part in the episode where Sol killed Mother Anasia in front of Osha. Because he thought that she was going to do something uh, to her. Because she kind of started forming into a mist. And he got scared that she was going to hurt the child. And he took her out with her light, with his lightsaber. Uh, making the other mother wind up taking over Kelnaka's body. And fighting Sol and Torben. Uh, Torben got injured during the fight with Kelnaka. Uh, Master, uh, Jedi Master Trinity <laughs> and Master uh, Jedi Master Squid Games. Uh, you got it? Oh, yeah. Um, they... What happens is when Kelnaka was being controlled, all of the Coven's powers were being used to control him. And when Carry On Moss's character uh, rejects every every power that's in Kanaka's mind, it cuts the core to the to the coven and must have taken them out. Uh, they got minecrafted. So basically, all this was done without the Jedi Council uh, knowledge or permission. Uh, they didn't even want them to interfere with uh, the children's life. Um, Soul, it was Soul who created this situation because of his fear of what would happen to the children if they waited. Uh, he said he felt a connection to Osha as if that was supposed to be his Padawan. Um, Carry, on Ma Carry On Moss's character was very aggravated and she almost fought him because of his insubordination and the problems he caused. So that's where the story of where May starting the fire came from. And that was the reason why everything went down the way it did. Um, even though she did cause the fire, we see her going back to try to get the mother to stop the fire. Uh, but that's when she seen Mother Anasaya uh be taken out and then that's where she was lost uh because she was gonna from that point forward going to look for these jedi masters and want to take them out for what they did to her mother and to her community now 
at the end of the day, from my perspective, I think that the Jedi were well-intentioned. Um, and I think kind of what they did was right, more right than wrong, because there were uh, things being done, um, unnatural uses of the Force, and you're kind of forcing a child to do something that she didn't want to do. Because at some point, Mother Anasea said, I don't, if she wants to go, she, I'm going to let her go. And her coven was getting mad, saying how that, no, you have to think about us and you shouldn't let her go because we need her for the ceremony. And that you need to pick, uh, pick being a leader instead of being a mother. And so... At least they gave that character some sort of redemption of realizing that she was forcing her daughter to do something that wasn't good for her and was going to allow her to go to the Jedi. Now, there was obviously, uh, anytime decisions are based off of emotion, there's a lot of things that can happen and will happen as a chain reaction, and that's exactly what happened. So, used the motion to make a decision, and it created a big problem into which they had to lie to the Jedi Council about what happened. That's why Torben went into his mind. That's why Kalnaka went away into exile. And that's why Sol is... Sol seems to have recovered and gotten a new Padawan, so to speak. Uh, but seems to still carry a heavy burden about what happened. Uh, being he's the only one alive still out of the squad of Jedi Masters that were there, will there be peace to be made, or will he also be, uh, or will he be the last piece to go down in this story of revenge? And what will that mean for Osha and for May? And for Darth uh, Joker there, um, because almost every other character is taken out. So we'll really, I guess, see what the big buildup is to. Um, this was really no mystery to, to me. Everything that I kind of figured happened, ha happened that way. And uh, the only real mystery will be. Uh, where did the budget of $180 million go into this uh, series? I would have to say a lot of it went into this episode with all the lightsaber fighting. Uh, again, I will say that this was a little bit more action-packed and uh, maybe gave a shade of a different light on certain things, but not enough to feel like you swerved anyone as a writer or, or anything like that. Uh, the show's going, uh, being laid out kind of how I thought it would be. Uh, one good, uh, one decent episode out of all the episodes that come out. It doesn't make a good show either, even though I'm kind of praising this episode more than the other ones. Uh, think about it like this. If I give you a ham sandwich and 95% of it is crap and only 5% of it is a ham, uh, is that still a ham sandwich? One episode out of possibly eight episodes that were better than the rest does not make a good series as a whole. That's my opinion. Uh, so for anyone that says that everyone's dumping on Star Wars and not giving it on the show The Acolyte and not giving it any credit is not true. Uh, this was... I'd give this episode like a seven, uh, but yeah, this um, show didn't need to be made. There's still no explanation about all the war breaks that happened, but trying to stay mad about that kind of isn't going to do any fans any justice because at the end of the day, we know that Disney Star Wars is not the Star Wars we grew up with. And for you to keep expecting that Star Wars to come back under the Disney regime or Kathleen Kennedy 
you'll be waiting a long time. Uh, that's just my opinion about it. And so I see a change at the top of the table, at the head of the table. Star Wars, Disney will never change. But we'll get the occasional good episode or good show. Uh, you can't always miss it, guess, right? Can't always rain. That's my opinion on the Acolyte. You let me know down below what you think of the Acolyte. And until next time, peace, Nickens.